In this problem we have a function f of x that is a piecewise defined function where the fu function behaves as cosine of x minus 1 over x squared for x not equal to 0 and negative 1 half when x is equal to 0. And The function f defined above has derivatives of all orders and we want to let g be the function defined by g of x is 1 plus the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. The first thing that we want to do here is write the first three non-zero terms and the general term of the Taylor series for cosine of x about x equals zero. And cosine of x is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial. Those are the first three terms of cosine of x about, uh, that's the first three non-zero terms of the Taylor series. Now we want to have the general term. The general term would be, this would be 0, 1, 2. It is simply 2n factorial in the denominator. And x to the 2n in the numerator and then we're going to get a negative 1 for the alternating term. Um, if we're starting at 0, however, yes, it's fine to start at 0 and we'll get a positive term on the first for the first term there. So that is the the first three non-zero terms and the general term of the Taylor series for cosine of x about x equals zero. Then we want to use this series to write the first three non-zero terms and the general term of the series for f about x equals zero. All right, so this time we can do this in stages. I want cosine of x minus one, which is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is subtract the one from the series above and what we're going to get then is negative x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial and we can't stop there then minus x to the sixth over 6 factorial. The general term at this point is going to be 0, 1, 2. Well, it's not even really worth thinking about the general term here. That's just more work that we're going to have to do. And there are a few more steps in the process. So the next thing that we'd like to do is divide that whole expression by x squared. So we have cosine of x minus 1 over x squared. And that is going to then equal negative x squared over x squared 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over x squared times 4 factorial minus x to the sixth over x squared times 6 factorial etc. which being simplified will be negative 1 over 2 factorial, which is negative 1 half, plus x squared over 4 factorial minus x to the fourth over 6 factorial. And that is our expression. You can see that when x is equal to 0, we will get negative when x, sorry, is equal to negative, when x is 0, f of x will equal negative 1 half. Because we'll plug in zeros into all the x's in the series, and they will all disappear, leaving only the negative 1 half there. All right, we still want to find the general term of this. And so we have the 0, 1, 2, a second term there. and so we have 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 6 factorial. 
And in the numerators, we have x to the 0, x to the second, x to the fourth. And so we just have 2n there. So the numerator is simply going to be x to the 2n. And we're going to have a negative 1 term in there. And we want to start off negative, And so we probably want to begin at n plus 1 if n will, be, will start at 0. So when n is 0, we will get 0 plus 1, which is an odd power. And we'll start off with a negative term to begin with. Then for the denominator. For the 0 term, we need a 2. For the first term, we need a 4. For the second term, we need a 6. And that is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 2. So when we start off, when n is equal to 1, we'll have 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2. So our denominator will then be 2n plus 2 factorial. And that does it for the first part of this problem. Now again, the only things that were essential to write in this case were this first line here and this last line there. So everything in between there isn't necessary. And however you get to those two critical pieces of information is fine. We'll go on to the next part in the next video.